So this is the first of three video demos on SciGen's EasyAP solution. This one will go over the basic solution and how easy it is to manually enter data on invoices. So let's go in here. The first step we're going to do is, is capture invoices. and We can either capture them from um, a, a folder where maybe you scan your invoices or we can link to a Direct Connect scanner on the desktop. So in this example, we'll go ahead and import the documents and we create a batch. And as we bring in the documents, you can see each of the invoices comes in as a separate document. And I'm going to move on in the capture workflow. And what you'll see now that I've captured the documents, I'm going to do some pre um, preparation on the invoices so that I can point and click on any item on the page. So it'll take a second to process and now I can come in, hover over anything on the page click on my invoice number, my date, I'll actually get a, a pop-up where I can pick from a list and this pop-up can be just from a list in the product or it can be from your accounting system and I'll click on the total and once I finish it goes right to the next invoice. So you can see it's a very simple process just to go through enter information about your invoices and quickly finish. So I'll continue here. Let me go ahead and finish these and I'll do my date and continue to do this. We'll highlight our total and then uh, the last one we'll do here is Maslow. One of the nice things about the product is that it standardizes the data entry. So you can see in all the previous invoices I had um, month slash date slash year but in this one I've got an abbreviation followed by a number, followed by the date. You'll see when I hover over it and let go, it automatically converts the date to the standard date format, which is very nice. So enter my final, click my close batch button, and now I'm going to do an optional step. Now sometimes the folks that are entering the data will also do this step, but I can have somebody different do this step. So as an AP supervisor, if you want to review all the, the information that's been entered before you release this data into your accounting or your content management system, you can do that as well. You can see we give a nice easy spreadsheet representation of all the information that's been collected with a row for each document and if you needed to you can come in and edit fields and then once you're done the products gonna go through process the documents and then send them to the back-end system so now if I navigate into my SharePoint site you can see that on the left hand side I've got my easy AP and what I told SciCapture to do once it captures those invoices, it's going to automatically build folders for the vendor, the year, and then it'll name the file vendor-invoice-number-date and it populates all the information. So now if I needed to, I could search for this invoice, I can email it, print it, do whatever I need to, I can view it out of this invoice uh, interface. So it makes a nice, simple repository, very basic solution that gives you a digital file cabinet. And we support about 60 different content management systems that you can send your invoices to. If you have any questions, shoot a note to sales at SciGen.com. Thanks.